Okay, so good afternoon everyone. My name is Daniel Calaraga and today I'll be showing you my molecule code. So basically what we were assigned to do was we were, we were uh, told to create a certain molecule uh, using the uh, drawing tool type and with within a sketch pad. So the molecule that I decided to draw was uh, benzoic acid. Uh, this is an aromatic carboxylic acid and its main use is in food preservatives. You can find benzoic acid in fruit juices, uh, sparkling drinks, and soft drinks as well. And in teaching laboratories, benzoic acid is also used for calibrating a bomb calorimeter. And this is used to measure the heat of combustion of a particular reaction. So now uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to describe my molecule code. So first of all, what we had to do, what I had to do, was import the AP Computer Science Library. Uh, in this uh, specific library, uh, the Sketchpad and the Drawing Tool constructors were inside. So this allowed me to create the code. So in this first line of code here, uh, I was creating the class. My, the name of my class is Molecule Code. And then right here, uh, I created my constructor. So sketch my first line of code here is uh, I'm creating a Sketchpad object. Uh, it's I named my object Paper. And these little numbers inside these brackets represent the width and the length of the, spe of the specific Sketchpad. And then what I did was uh, I created all these numerous drawing tool objects that were required to form the specific molecule. And something that I'd like to touch on uh, is that the, I included paper in between the parentheses whenever I created a drawing tool object because this is demonstrating the fact that all of these objects will be used in the in this um, sketchpad object that I created right here of that is called paper so um, what I first did was I started I, I what I wanted to do was move my point my starting point because um, I believe that if it started in the middle my molecule wouldn't be the size that I wanted it to be so what you first have in order to do that I had to um, write down here the method pencil dot up this dot up method uh, allows your object to uh, sort to move into the um, moving method because uh, once you, you you initialize um, a new drawing tool method a new drawing tool object I'm sorry uh, it goes straight into the drawing mode so this pencil dot up method what it does is it changes the drawing tool object into a moving into a moving mode and then I moved my my um, point to the coordinate 0 negative 30 and then in order to to bring back my object into the drawing mode uh, I used the dot down method and then what I basically did these lines of code right here, uh, we're moving the molecule. Uh, we're moving the point. I'm sorry. And every time I uh, turn, whenever every time the point turned left or it moved forward, it would draw a specific line. And you will see how these specific lines of code turned out in these in the program. And now I'd like to talk about the draw string method. Right here, uh, what this does, it it inputs the this text that I that is in between the parentheses into the the um, program, so it'll be able to draw this a, a, a text of type string into this uh, drawing type object, uh, and then the lines of code that follow this are basically just creating the first bond the second bond and the oxygen you'll see what these what these look like when I run the program and then the last thing that was sort of different was creating the, the circle 
that represents the carbon around the um, around the that the carbon that that the carbons that are in the benzene ring. So in order, how to many do, carbons in the benzene? Uh, there's six carbons. So it's hexagonal, more or less. Yes, uh, you'll see that later on in the code when I run it. And it, chemists normally they draw a circle in order to represent the hydrogens around the carbon. So uh, in order to do this, I use the draw circle method right here. And the numbers in between the parentheses represent the radius of the circle. Um, in order to calculate, I didn't really calculate this value. Uh, it was sort of a try and trial and error uh, until I was actually able to place the circle right at the center of the hexagon that I created uh, up here in the pencil object. And lastly, in order to uh, make it more aesthetically pleasing, I added the I added the name of the molecule benzoic acid using the draw string method and I also added my name right here and I also used the draw string method so now after explaining the code I'm going to compile my program and I'm going to run it so this was the final product um,